A very good morning to all of you class 6. Welcome back to the English class. Today we will learn a new lesson from your English grammar book. Adjective degree of comparison. This is a new topic. This is a new lesson we are going to take from your English grammar book. Now today is the 3rd of June 2020 and we have started with the lesson adjective degree of comparison. And the learning objective of our uh, class today would be to learn and understand degree of comparison. Okay. Now, first of all, let us recall what is an adjective. Adjective is a describing word, right? It describes a noun, which adds more meaning to a noun that is an adjective. Any, you take any noun, let us say a boy. Uh, a boy, uh, uh, the boy is a good singer, right? Or a uh, Big. This is a big house. A car. This is a red car. So when we uh, describe this boy, house, car, the description of that is called an adjective. Correct? Now, degree of comparison. What do you understand by degree of comparison? Degree of comparison is, uh, it is, there are three degrees of comparison. Okay? There are three degree of comparison. I'm going to explain you with the help of this picture. <clears throat> this is a in the picture in this picture there in degree of comparison there are three forms of degree of comparison when you are not making a comparison when there is only single noun the base form this is called positive degree this is positive degree that means there is single noun okay when there are two nouns when you are making a comparison between two nouns, we call it the second type of comparison is called comparative degree of this is comparative degree. Okay, this is comparative degree when there are two nouns. If I have to, let us say this is a boy. Okay, so if there is only one boy, we will use positive degree, we will not compare it with another boy. But if there are two boys, we will call it comparative degree. If there are more than three or more than three, if there are more, three or more than three now, now we call it superlative. We call it superlative degree. So this is Positive degree, comparative degree, superlative, so the adjective here, when you describe these nouns, the adjectives will change its form, change in its form to show comparison. Okay, the when I describe this boy, if the num as the number of boys increase, the the adjective will also change its form. If there is only one boy, let us say tall. The boy this uh, he is a tall boy. So the degree of uh, what is the adjective I am using tall. I'm using the noun uh, adjective tall to describe this boy. But when there are two boys, we, I will say one of the boy is taller. Right? I might say that Ravi is taller than Ram. So here the degree of comparison will change. So the adjective will change its form. It will become taller. And when there are more than three, then we will use the superlative form of degree. We will say, uh, we can say that Ravi is the tallest boy. Ravi is the tallest boy in the class. So this is how degree of comparison or the adjective will change its form along with the change in number of uh, nouns it is describing. Now, Formation of comparative and superlative degree. How do we, how do you change, how do you form 
comparative and superlative degree like i told you positive is the base form of the adjective positive is the most uh, base form of adjective when the positive form or the positive uh, form of adjective is mostly one syllable one syllable means it is one single sound okay let us say uh, dark dark when it is mostly one syllable when the positive adjective then what happens you add er to the positive make to make it a comparative degree of comparison it will become darker and to make it superlative degree you add est darkest there are many such examples soft softer softest strong stronger strongest bold bolder boldest thick thicker thickest so these are the example wherein you will use er and est to form a uh, superlative comparative and superlative degree now positive uh, adjective which ends with e like wise you add r to make it a comparative degree wiser and you add s t to make it to make the superlative degree wisest okay w i s e s t okay same way noble nobler noblest pure purer purest okay and the third form the third form where the uh, positive degree ends with consonant and y consonant once again in the uh, english alphabet there are four five vowels a e i o u the remaining are all consonant sounds right so if the positive uh adjective ends with a consonant and y let us say easy y is the uh y is the last letter s is the consonant in that case what will you do is you will replace y with i and you will add e r like easy y will be replaced by i easier and here it will become easy est so in this way there are many more examples in this way <clears throat> there are many more examples in your textbook uh page number 30 and 31 so today i will cover only this part and in the next class i will cover the remaining part of the class uh, remaining part of the lesson so i hope children you have understood what is degree of comparison and how do we form some of the comparative and superlative degree and the remaining i will cover tomorrow thank you